Hello, and welcome to the Art of Online Marketing live show. Today, we're talking about tips to keep your brand strong during the summer. My name is Denise Allison, and for those of you who might not know me, I help entrepreneurs get more visibility, engagement, and build relationships with social media. All right, so today we're doing something a little bit different than, than what we would normally do, but I'll be sharing with you five tips for keeping your brand presence strong over a long summer. So I know that for a lot of businesses, things can slow down a little bit during the summer, especially if you're kind of in a thought leadership type of space. Of course, if, you're, if your business is a pool or something like that, things get much busier during the summer. But for most of the businesses that I work with, summer can be a little bit of a slower time. Um, there's just less events going on. Your clients are on vacation. Potential clients are on vacation. Um, everyone's on vacation. Your brain might be on vacation uh, and might want to be on, on the beach. So things just feel a little bit different. Kids aren't in school. It just can be a, a rough time. But this really doesn't mean that you should put your business on hold for two months in the summer. You definitely should not do that. But that doesn't mean you can't take a little bit of time for yourself and enjoy the summer. So for me, this has been the busiest July like in, in history, in the history of my business. I've been so busy. I've had so much going on and I have so much work to do. So I have a few tips for you to make sure that you keep things rolling and keep your brand presence strong during the summer. So number one is securing new clients before summer begins. Now, if it's the middle of summer and you're watching this, uh, which probably is because we're live right now, you can't really go back and change this if you haven't already done it. So it might be uh, planning for for next year uh, because there's really no going back and, and doing that. But over the years, I have learned that summer is a really hard time to really nail down um, new clients and um, secure that and, and get things rolling. But it is a really great time for, for clients to get stuff done because for them, they're probably less busy as well. So in the springtime, I always put extra resources into securing um, some clients before summer actually actually begins. Um, so getting that done before July 1st, because like I said, summer can be a great time to get those projects done. It's just really hard to, um, to really uh, nail down some people because vacation, kids are there, whatever, the summer type of things that make business a little bit strange this kind of year. So that's tip number one is to secure new clients before summer begins. Tip number two is to attend networking events. So even though there's not always so much going on, there still seems to be enough networking type of events going on. They're always, or not always, but often they're outdoors on a patio, a little bit more chill than they might be uh, in during the rest of the year. And it seems like they, they still continue. So what I do is I make a list of all the ones going on that are like in an accessible distance to me. And I make a plan to be there because if you are just a little bit less busy in the summer, that means you have more time to go to these networking events and your next client might be there waiting for you. So it's really great to, um, to take the time, meet some new people, maybe get reacquainted with people that you already know and remind them that you exist and just take the time to actually go out there and do that. I know that networking can fall to the bottom of the list for a lot of us during the year when you have other priorities and things to get done, but summer can be a really good time to, to attend those. Number three is meet with your, your supporters uh, in real life. So this is a great time of year to plan some coffee chats or wine chats or lemonade chats, whatever you, you want to chat over. But but you might have some referral partners, uh, colleagues or former clients and, and other people that it's time to just sit down and, and chat with. And you can learn about what they're up to and you can fill them in on what you've been up to for the last 
year, six months, or however long it's been since you chatted with them and, and share with them the exciting things that you're working on. And I always find that these types of chats, they always have lots of energy. They inspire new ideas. And again, it kind of reminds that person of who you are, what you're doing. And um, it might something might pop into their head a week later uh, where someone's looking for exactly what you have to offer. So taking the time to um, make sure that you're nurturing those relationships and, and sitting down and having a, a chat with those people in, in your network. Number four is continue with your social media marketing strategy. So I know sometimes in the summer, it can feel like there's less engagement or your, your post might not be performing as well and, and all the things that we don't really want. But, but um, even though there's less people paying attention to your social media or engaging with it, it's really important that you don't just like go on a hiatus for two months. And I mean, that's important for two reasons. One is the fact that that's going to probably do you a huge disservice in terms of the algorithm. And if it sees that you haven't posted for two months and then all of a sudden come back in September with all these posts, they're really not going to rank well. But number two is you don't want to just fall off the face of the earth in terms of uh, the people who are paying attention. People are still on their phones. No one's getting rid of their phone for two months in the summer. They might be on it a little bit less because they have family time or they're traveling or what have you. But there are there's still um, activity and, and energy and and things happening on social media. So don't just put it on the back burner for two months. You can, if you're gonna be on vacation, you, you of course can either take a little bit of a break or scale back and just schedule a few posts to keep things humming. Um, so feel free to take a break in that sense, but don't just be like sign out of all your accounts for two months. You want to continue with that. It's a great time to experiment with things, be creative. There might be things that you've been wanting to try on social media. There might be some content that you don't know if it's going to fly um, or just like have fun with your social media. Think of ways that you can infuse more summer energy into it and, and try new stuff because if less people are watching, then if you do something silly or that doesn't work, well, then it's easier to get rid of it and less people will remember. And number five is just get stuff done. If you've done all the things that I just mentioned and you're still struggling to, to get clients or you're just not busy and you don't have that much going on, don't just sit around and twiddle your thumbs and wait for Labor Day to roll back around. Use this uninterrupted time to get stuff done. So work on big projects, get something done that you've been meaning to do for a while. It might be organize your office or it might be clean out your inbox, organize your files. There's lots of things that we just keep putting on the back burner. Well, maybe it's just me, but probably not. Just keep putting that on the back burner and say, oh, I'll get this done someday and then just never get it done. So don't just sit on your butt watching Big Brother all summer. Use this time to be productive and, and, and do something. So pick something that you've been meaning to do for a while and just get cracking at it. If, if there's less going on, you have more time to focus on creative things like that. So get stuff done. And bonus tip is enjoy your summer. So if you know in advance that summer is a slow time for you, use that time to book your vacations, to plan a week at the beach, to plan some Friday afternoons, um, going to the cottage, whatever. Like you, you need to make sure that you're you're enjoying summer because I know in this part of the world, summer is very short and it feels like we're waiting 10 months of every year for it to actually be summer. So enjoy your summer, uh, pamper yourself, do all the things that you need to do to have a great summer and come back refreshed and to get back into things in the fall. So all businesses have ebbs and flows. So if you know it's a slow time for you, don't try to work against it, but just let it happen. And then when the times are a bit more busy, then you'll be more prepared for that. So that's tip number six. Enjoy your summer. Well, it's actually bonus tip, but it's technically number six. So just as a review for how to keep your brand presence strong over a long summer, number one, secure new clients before July 1st. 
Number two is attend summer networking events and parties. Number three, meet with your supporters in real life for coffee chats. Number four is continue with your social media marketing strategy. Number five, if all else fails, just use the time to get stuff done. And bonus tip number six, enjoy your summer. So thank you for being with me here today. I love when you join me for the live show, whether you're watching live or the replay. I really appreciate that. So I hope that you're enjoying your summer and I'll be back on Thursday where I'll be interviewing another special guest. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you all on Thursday.